Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the new changes and improvements that Microsoft is shipping with the release of Windows 11 build 2020.132. In this update you won't find new features or big changes, but it is the one that the company is using to start showing off a bunch of updates for built-in apps. Okay, so here is everything that's new with Windows 11 build 2020.132. In this release you will find a new snipping tool that replaces both the legacy snipping tool and snip and sketch apps. The new app retains the same design as the legacy version, but it now has a new interface that integrates the best features found on snip and sketch. Like with snip and sketch, you can use a Windows Shift S keyboard shortcut to bring up the snipping tools, or you can open the app directly and start a new screenshot this way. Once you selected the type of screenshot that you want to take, and then click the new button to select to select the region that you want to take a screenshot you're now presented with a new interface which is similar to snip and sketch from here you have different tools that you can use to to annotate the screenshot you can also change the size by cropping and then of course you can save it or you can share it. On the right we get a context menu to open files, print or you can access the settings. And you even have a timer that you can use to delay the screenshot. With build 22,000.132 the calculator app is also receiving a new update. In this new version the app has been rewritten on C Sharp and introduces a fresh new look that follows the Microsoft's new language design with rounded corners and new materials, as you can see right here. For this update, Microsoft's emphasizing that, that the company improved the standard version of the calculator, the scientific calculator, and also the programmer calculator. Furthermore, the company also says that you can now convert in more than a hundred different units in currency. So now that we've seen these two apps with the light color mode on Windows 11, let's switch the theme and let's go to the dark mode to see how these apps now looks like. So this is how the calculator app looks like and snip and sketch also has the ability to match the system color mode. Aside from the snipping tool and calculator, Microsoft is also updating the mail and calendar apps, but they're not making a lot of changes. They just tweaked the existing applications. So they now have rounded corners and, and other tweaks to make it more like a Windows 11 application but nothing has changed. So this is a screenshot from Microsoft that shows how the new application looks like. You're supposed to be able to get this app from the Microsoft Store, but at the time I'm making this video, the updates are taking some time. So I've been trying to get the updates constantly, but it's taking a long time to get them. So I have to show you the screenshot instead. And this is a quick look at the calendar app, which still remains the same as the one that you see today on Windows 10, but you will see now that we have some tweaks with render corners and pretty much every angle and some updated icons. I think these icons are new too. Although chat from Microsoft Teams has been around for a few builds now, it was only available in the dev channel and it only offer text based chat. Starting with build 22,000.132, the new feature is stable enough to appear in the beta channel and also Microsoft is extending the features one-to-one -one or group video and audio calls. You can also create and join meetings. You can enable or disable the microphone or camera and you can choose your preferred speakers, microphones and camera. Furthermore, you can even share your screen. Even further, you can even now manage settings for meetings, view list of participants, manage meetings participants from the lobby, chat, and you can even see people's video in a gallery view. According to Microsoft, these features are already available, 
but for example on my installation I still don't have them because as I tried to make a video call or a voice call that still shows up as a coming soon feature and apparently I'm still on the latest latest version let me just go to settings and then go to about teams and as you can see supposedly I have the latest version but those features are still not available on my installation aside from the new apps Windows 11 build 22000.132 does not include new features just a bunch of fixes if you want to know more about those I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can check them out and that's it remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing and if you stayed until the end here is a tip because it happened to me after i upgraded to the latest build of windows 11 i didn't find any of the new applications and that's because the operating system does not include the built-in app updates those come from the microsoft store app so if you are trying to test this new bill as soon as you do the upgrade you, what you want to do is to open the microsoft store app and then go to library and then click the get updates that should check for updates and download anything that's available if you don't see any updates just keep checking and eventually you will get all the new updates for the apps